good morning <laughs> from me and Izzy. Um, welcome back. Happy Sunday if it's Sunday when you're watching this. Today is a miserable Saturday. It is cold, it is wet. The cows are out grazing but uh, they have a hump <laughs> in their backs. Um, and I had planned today on showing you all of the stock that is now out, all the heifers that we put out like in last week's video. All the baby heifers, all the maiden heifers, all like grazing very happily. Um, but I feel like today they will not be very happy that they're grazing. So if we do a stock check and um, they look all right, I'll show you. <laughs> but other than that, today I think I'm going to try and stay inside as much as possible. As in like inside a shed, not inside the house, unfortunately. Um, and I think that we are going to swap out some liners because the parlor liners uh, need refreshed. I think isn't it every 2,000 milkins we're meant to swap them or change them. But anyway, that's what we're going to do today. As always, come with. Um, also apologies for last week's video, it was definitely a cop out. But this one, hopefully, will be a lot better. Enjoy! Okay, so I am changing liners. For anybody who doesn't know what that means, inside the cluster, inside the claw, um, there's four of these and inside the silver bit is a rubber bit um, and this is basically what helps to create the vacuum in the parlor so that the parlor can milk the cows, it can suck, create the suction action. But obviously these clusters milk a lot of cows every day, twice a day and they get a lot of wear and tear so eventually these things, and this one has been cut but um, eventually they start to wear down and they can lose their shape and they can get weak and sometimes they split and when they split it means that the vacuum is lost so there's air getting lost out of the system and um, if there's air getting lost out of the system which will make milking uncomfortable for so you have to change them I think it's every 2,000 milkings but I could be wrong so it basically means cutting it taking the claw apart Sorry, I'm trying to do this on explain at the same time and not cut my fingers off. But you take the claw apart, take this bit off, cut out the rubber bit. It's gonna be my problem today. And then you're left with this bit and then I'm just putting this bit into a bucket of porter acid. And then I'll take all them bits off and wash them and then put in new rubber liners. So that's what I'm doing today. There's 20 clusters, four of these in each cluster. How many is that? 80? 80 of these to change. Great job, let's go. So I've been working on this for like an hour <laughs> and these are the ones that I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And the other ones that I still have today. This takes a while. And I am done. Thank goodness. My hands are sore. My fingers are sore. Um, I'm going to be all pulled down one side when I go to get out of bed tomorrow morning um, from pulling the liners up into the into the metal part but it's done for another year lovely jubbly um, I think now I need a cup of tea and my lunch and then after that I don't know what we'll do they're really I need to do a grass walk and I should probably show you my dorsets and see how they're getting on and then I think they're mechanicking at mowers to get ready for silage as you can see we are very near that time uh, but a lot of that stuff just goes straight over my head I know the basics and I like cows mowers machinery tractors all that stuff just goes so anyway I'm gonna go get my lunch and then I will check back with you afterwards I am back, I've had my lunch. I'm like that Snickers advert that's like, you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> so I'm much happier now. And I'm out um, to do a grass walk. If I can show you my plate meter. Um, I've explained this all before, but for anybody who has missed me explaining this, basically this is a plate meter. It measures um, grass, height and then it has a little calculator on the inside then that gives you like available grass dry matter um the way i measure grass is in like the uk system so i say four centimeters is 1500 kilos of dry matter and 10 centimeters would be 3000 ideally you want to graze at 3000 want to take them back out at like oh, 1600 um with the kind of cows that we're grazing and the kind of milk that they're given like I, I don't think it's right to make them eat right down to the ground but um anyway that's a little grass spiel i'm gonna do a bit of walking here now get my steps in this field i'm in here now is, is it's way too strong for grazing um so it'll probably get put into the clamp along with the rest of the silage and it just takes coming out and seeing that and knowing that's kind of where your grass is at. So that's what I'm going to do now. I have been really bad with grass walking this year. Um, just been a busy flipping bee. But if you can spare like 20 minutes just to get a run round, even if you're not going to actually grass measure, just looking at it and seeing what everything is like in the fields, then it's well worth your time. So I'm going to do that. Adios. So one of the big problems with grass this year um, is we haven't had weather like this. Like this morning it was wet and now it is sunny and warm. So it's like perfect growing weather. But it is literally the first day that it's been like this um, pretty much since, since we started grazing. Um, it's either been warm, hot and dry. Um, so there's no moisture for growth. And then if it's not that, then it's cold and wet so there's no heat for growth. So this field was grazed like probably a week ago and it's still like no grass. <laughs> um, I think you could comfortably play golf on that. And then the other field, which hasn't been grazed, um, has far too much grass on it for grazing and they would only waste it. So it's a funny old year for, for grass and grazing. But hopefully if we get more weather like this, things should start looking up a little bit. I hope. Okay, grass walk done. I just need to tidy up after myself <laughs> from washing all the clusters earlier on. And then I just need to throw some meal to some baby cows. And then it's milking time already. Where does the day go? Um, I think there's, yeah, there's only six calves left on milk now. Everybody else is on meal. And then there's a total of like 15 calves left in the house. After that, everything else is outside grazing. So I'm gonna get tidied up, feed them, and then it'll be pretty much time to go and get the cows.
Okay, I've got a bag, a meal bag to open. One of these. <laughs> and somehow I am quite good at getting these undone. I have no idea how I did. Let's see if I can do it under pressure. No. <laughs> points if you can do this. Surprise, surprise, it's Tuesday evening and I didn't finish the video on Saturday, but <laughs> it's grand, we're here now. Um, I think my last clip should have been me telling you that I would show you the sheep. Uh, I think I told you I would show you on Sunday, but like I said, today's Tuesday. Um, finished work at five, came down, milked the cows, and then I thought I'd run out and show you the sheep. So we changed the tips marker um, like 10 days ago. So obviously he was working on a yellow marker before and now he's working on a green marker. And so far there's only been one yo has marked green. She wasn't tipped yellow, um, which means it was just her first service. And I'm in now this evening, as you can hear, uh, to check and make sure that nobody else has tipped green. Um, obviously I don't want them to tip green. <laughs> don't want them to tip green because then it means that we're spreading out the lambing. So hopefully, I think these yo should all lamb within four weeks in September time. They're very cross. I didn't bring them any meal this evening. They're not happy with it. But I will show you them now. And that is it for this week's video. Tomorrow, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I think they're gonna start cutting silage. So hopefully I can give Stuart the camera and he can try and get a bit of silage footage because the girl has to work nine to five now. <laughs> so she doesn't get to be at the silage all the time. But anyway, that's next week's video. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Hopefully I can get back into my groove of making one a week, but. We'll just take it a week at a time and I will talk to you in my next one.